Team Jackson, what's happening? You petty as Come on. You, Team Jackson, what's happening? You petty. Yo, look, what's happening? I ain't mad. Let those who have an ear, let them hear. You came for gossip. I came with the gospel. You came to blame. I came to slay with the power of the Holy Spirit. And I take authority as my master has given me because behold, I have seen Satan fall like lightning. I have given you authority to trample over snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of darkness. Nothing by any means shall harm you. And I come trampling over snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of, of darkness that wants to suck up marriage and divide the house of God and divide the men and women of God from each other. Some of you don't understand this because you don't have kingdom thinking. You don't know kingdom principles and you don't know how to act and walk in kingdom. Why is she dressed like she ready for a major laser video? <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> um, to not operate from your lowest self, whatever it may be. So, when I looked in the comments of this video, uh, I don't know if old boy was trolling or not, but he said, D, I think I want to see a reaction to this video. So, let's do it. And by the way, I'm going to speak in third person. Um, a lot of you already seen this, but... Stop. Okay, listen, you're not a Batman villain. I don't know... I don't know. You're not the Riddler. I don't know why you're trying to speak about yourself in third person. Get yourself a publicist, bro. When the person said, whoa, or said, why don't you react to this? He was, <laughs> why do I have to explain this? Thing? Just because someone said it doesn't mean that you should do it. Okay. This is one of those times where uh, someone take their phone away. This is one of those times. Yeah. yeah. Take, please yeah. take this man's phone away. This is Derek Jackson. Um, a lot of people think of him as a relationship expert and guru and all of that. Well, he and his wife are making this video because apparently at some point in their marriage or maybe even beforehand in the relationship, he didn't take his own advice and he stepped out and he got involved with other women as you heard. Them. You know what this is like, bro? This is like when you go to an open mic and somebody doesn't know they can't sing and they start belting it out, hitting all those notes. I, I, I will always love you. Oh, will always love you. Thank you guys for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. They come see you afterwards. So how was it? Nigga, are you that lacking in self-awareness that you couldn't tell this was stupid? Really? My, my, bro, you can't fix oh this. My God. You can't fix this. Okay? You can't fix this. The horse is dead. She'll never ride again. Because this whole like, I found God shtick and now that I've got God back in my life and my wife is with me and I, I'm reacting to myself to understand myself. I'm so self. No one's buying it. Even Jesus, he's not answering your calls. I really like when Charlamagne the God said, first name, nigga, first name, nigga, last name, please. <laughs> That's what it's my whole sentiment. And all this started when you look down on other people. The hypocrisy. We love to watch hypocrites burn. We love it. We love it when the pastor says all these anti-gay stuff and he turns out to be a oh, like We that, love it. Like that guy in Poland that was like a, 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 a politician that was super Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and taking D on caught, the side? He, no, he was caught in a brothel. Say, now, upon first impression, nothing really stuck out to me about him, but more so about the wife. But just by her body language, I was really wondering, like, did he force her to do this video? Like she looks super uncomfortable, like she doesn't want to be there. But then I watched their live chat that they did right afterwards. And you know, I kind of caught that this is just a part of her personality. So that kind of explains somewhat of her demeanor. You know, she clearly has a mind of her. You're explaining the explanation. You know what this is like, bro? You know what this is? What is it? This is like the police investigating themselves after a murder. Yeah. I think we did a good job, boys. Hey, we've investigated ourselves and we've cleared ourselves of all wrongdoing. Nigga, what? Yes, that's exactly That's right. what this is. Yeah, that's what, that's what this job. is. Good job. That's what, but you know what? When the police do it, they know what they're doing. <laughs> they're trying to cover their ass. You, my friend, you seem to really believe this bullshit. Right. Anyways. He's trying to cover his ass. Anyways. <sighs> he's lost it.
her. You know, she clearly has a mind of her own if you saw the live chat too. And she said that the live chat even was her idea. Um, so with that. Can we, can we... <laughs> you know, can you imagine if your daughter got kidnapped by somebody and then that person sent you a video of like, yeah, me and her talked and she loves being here. Would you believe the kidnapper? <laughs> Not a word. Now, regardless, whether you like them, love them, or hate them, I think this is a great example as to why we don't need to be putting anybody on the pedestal. Nobody. And I think a lot of women did that. And I'm not even going to say it's the women's fault by themselves because this dude, he never really showed his struggle. You know, we understand, oh, we're all humans and we all make mistakes, but he never showed those mistakes. Not for real. I think he wrote about it's, it or something it's, like it's that. Not, it's, not, it's not that you didn't show your struggle or your mistakes is that you clown people, not clown, but you demonize people for doing the same mistakes that you did. You didn't say that, but it makes, it puts you in a position that you're better than them. I like how this man's gaslighting his fans into saying you guys are the reason I was idealized. No, you definitely encouraged it. You definitely encouraged it and you're definitely a big reason. You basically had a whole platform that basically said, but I'm not like the other guys. That was your whole platform. But I'm not like them dudes. He's, he's, you a queen, you a crown, and I'm not like those guys. That been, was your plan. should have been on The Bachelor. Not only because somebody can be living a double life, which I don't think is quite the case here, according to his wife, behind the scenes, without anybody knowing, of course, this part ain't gonna blow up, but he's been putting in the work to kind of reconstruct where that all had been broken since last year. So I don't think it's a double life thing, but I'm more so on the side of his wife and just basically letting this be a new chapter of how I see him. Because I do believe that his content over the years has helped a tremendous amount of people. You know, he tells the truth, he speaks facts. I appreciate how he constantly is giving himself compliments throughout this whole thing. Just wanna say, this is devolving very fast, my friend. I now understand why this man deleted this video. Ford and he's been completely honest. Um, some people are just gonna close the book on D. Some people are gonna close the book on this dude and say, you know what, I'm done with you, cancel you, cancel culture, come here. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. And by the way, he has a book detailing how he and his wife overcame all of this in their private lives. Can we, can we? All right, this is too cringy. I can't watch anymore. I'm gonna just stop it right there. Go ahead, preach. None of this would have mattered. And it still doesn't. But you broke people. When you're doing books and you're having seminars and you're having people that you're talking to directly and you're changing the life, you should do this, you should do that because men are like this and like that. Derek Jackson, that his business. Talking to women and shifting the way basing on what he lives. That's what Derek did. That's the only thing that Derek did. That's his main business, influencing people. Look, here's his book. That's how I do in my marriage. And your marriage is, is, is not, it's a lie. But you base, the fact is that you base yourself and your book on the lie that you're saying. I'm starting to feel a little bit bad because I think this man's legitimately having a breakdown. I think like mentally this man is not well anymore. Um, you, I know, I, what I know is, what I know is this, you petty. That you, you, he's petty. Please let him know he's petty. I mean, yeah. It's good content, though. I'm definitely petty, but I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately thinking this man in his head is just not doing well. I ain't mad at you. Like, if you woke up tomorrow and he self-deleted, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm, I'm to that point. Because I, my, no, I hear my you. suspicion, I hear you. people are saying he's a narcissist and all that stuff. I don't actually think it's that. You know what I think it is? What is it? I think there's the man he wants to be and the man he knows himself to be. And now that people are completely disillusioned with this, he's having to. Re he's trying to hold on to this. And the world's like, no, bitch, we see you. And I think that, because I've seen other men who've been caught in cheating scandals, and they spiral worse than this. Yeah, but why is, like... What? It, it shouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. But because... Yeah, that's the thing. But when you live a lie for so long, my nigga, the things that you're going to do to try to maintain that lie... Yeah. I mean, we got this man reacting to himself, and he's talking about himself in the in third, third person. person. Nigga, yeah. that is how far he's trying to take the lie. Because mm -hmm. when you've built an image for that long, the things you will do to keep hold of this, mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. So I think he's legitimately losing it. He included it in his business, and so people, I've, I've, I've seen, I've seen comments. Oh, because he used that to 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 dictate other people's life, and people listen to him. Yeah, 
It's not even just him. I've seen the comments like, I had a whole man yeah. that I left because, and he, she gonna take. And I understand why people are mad. That's right. When you make it your business and you try to sound righteous, you know, yeah. nobody's perfect. But when you try to look down on people. Mm -hmm. Have you guys have seen that meme? If you or one of your loved ones has been negatively affected by one of Jared Jackson's videos, you may be owed some compensation. <laughs> Mira como toma, toma morena, rico que se mira morena, mira como